Hey Luke, who needs a fireplace when you're the party? What do you mean? Today, we've got a hot topic that's sure to leave you fired up. Literally. We're talking about spontaneous human combustion mystery, where people burst into flames out of nowhere. Trying to explain spontaneous human combustion to people is like teaching them advanced thermodynamics. Yeah, it gets complicated as complicated it gets. Let's see how Scarlett explains it to us. Spontaneous human combustion, SHC, is a term used to describe the purported burning of a living person without an apparent external source of ignition. While the phenomenon is often used in fiction, its existence is largely disputed within the scientific community and has been used as a plot device since the 18th century. Nevertheless, some have proposed possible explanations for occurrences of SHC, including theories suggesting large buildup of internal body heat, as well as theories concerning poltergeist or psychic activity. Throughout the years, doctors and academics alike have studied and investigated claims of SHC with little explanation or evidence. In some cases, forensic evidence suggests that a person was burned in the absence of open flame, contorting to a charcoal-like structure. In many cases, the source of the fire remains a mystery. It is likely that some cases of SHC are misdiagnosed due to the difficulty of determining the cause of death in some charred remains. Theories proposed to explain cases of SHC range from theories of internal heat production from processes such as runaway cell metabolism or bacterial scaling, to theories of paranormal poltergeist activity. It has also been suggested that certain medical conditions may increase the likelihood of SHC incidents. However, there has yet to be significant evidence to confirm any of these theories. In 2011, a study by Dr. John E. DeHaan and Dr. Stephen N. Wukash involving oh. 10 SHC cases conducted over an 11-year period concluded that there is no scientific evidence to support the existence of SHC as an independent source of ignition for fires involving humans, suggesting instead that the phenomenon is largely a fiction. The world of unexplained fire deaths where humans mysteriously burst into flames and become their own personal barbecues. Yeah, when the party gets so wild, even your molecules start dancing. Let's grab our marshmallows and dive into this burning mystery. Hey guys, welcome to Bureau Files, I'm Joseph. I'm Luke. Our first stop on this scientific adventure takes us to the world of fats, flames, and the wick effect. Picture this. The human body becomes a slow-burning candle, with body fat acting as the wick. Indeed. When a person's clothing catches fire, the fat in their body can melt and be absorbed by the clothing fibers. This forms a kind of fuel source that sustains the fire, leading to localized burning. Precisely. The heat generated further melts more fat, creating a self-sustaining loop until, poof, we have successful combustion. The reason why grandma always warned not to play with matches. <laughs> what about the possibility of pyrophoric substance residual on clothes? These are compounds that can spontaneously ignite upon exposure to air. Highly likely. Imagine a scenario where trace amounts of such substances remain on clothes. When released or triggered, they could lead to a self-igniting inferno. If my love handles were truly flammable, I'm skipping candles on my birthday cake forever. <laughs> what about the influence of alcohol? Some scientists suggest that excessive alcohol consumption could contribute to the combustion puzzle. Yeah, alcohol is flammable and its presence in the body or fabric might enhance the likelihood of a fire starting and spreading. So much for party nights taking unexpectedly fiery turns. If my body ever bursts into flames spontaneously, I better have a catchy dance routine prepared at the party. You're right, Luke. It's a surprise party where you're both the guest of honor and the main course. <laughs> 
To validate these theories, our researchers have conducted experiments and examined case studies. While the explanations presented shed light on the potential mechanisms, the scarcity of concrete evidence keeps the mystery alive. The way these experts explain it, internal combustion due to alcoholism or excessive flatulence is totally flabbergasting. Because when I rip one after a chilly night, I'm basically a ticking Molotov. <laughs> I must admit, there's something poetic about a person turning into a human firework all on their own. 4th of July, 5th of November, all boring. How about spontaneous human combustion day on any day you like? And the best part? No need for a barbecue grill, firework, or a bonfire. Just drench a drunk man in pyrophoric substance, spank him hard enough to bust, combust, and watch the sparks fly. <laughs> Hey Joseph, Mr. Trump wants to have a word via link connection. Ladies and gentlemen, President Donald Trump. Hey you men in black. Mr. Trump, thank you for joining us today. We're here to discuss the mysterious phenomenon of spontaneous human combustion and investigating unexplained fire deaths. What are your thoughts on this topic? Let me tell you, nobody knows combustion like I do. I've dealt with fires, I've dealt with heat. And let me tell you, I've always been a tremendous expert when it comes to these things. People have said, Donald, you've got the best words for fire so Now, these fire deaths, they're a mystery, just like my tax returns. But I have a theory, a tremendous theory, actually, so spontaneous combustion. It's very interesting, very interesting indeed. Thank you for sharing your insights, Mr. Trump. Nobody combusted more spontaneously than I did in the business world. I was making deals left and right. Joseph? And let me tell you some of those oh, deals. Oh, sorry, Mr. They President. So hot, we can't hear you. Hello? There. Hello? <laughs> Thank God. So remember, guys, if you ever feel like turning into a human firecracker, just make sure to put on your flame-resistant pajamas and keep a fire extinguisher handy. Stay toasty out there. Keep those marshmallows handy. Until next time, keep those flames of curiosity burning. Or don't. Whatever floats your charred armchair. <laughs>